film and do work to your car at the same time. Ow! What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now today is the second part of the boot build. I know you guys have been asking for all this stuff. So we're going to possibly unplug the subwoofer, get the back seats out and take off the um, seat, the rear seat belts because I won't be needing those anymore. So, but yeah, let's start the boot build part two. Right, so I think what I'm first going to do is get rid of all the crap in my car because there is so much rubbish in my car and there's a skip over there. So I can get rid of all this stuff and then start doing some work to it because it might make it a little bit easier, but yes. Let's start getting some of the crap out. There's like the seats here. An old paintbrush has been in here for I don't know how long. All sorts of absolute rubbish. These stickers have seen better days, so they probably could be thrown away. But you know, all this crap, all this crap can be thrown away. Right, so I've taken refuge in my car because as you can see, it's well, it's kind of hard, there you go. It's raining. Now obviously, Doing work on your car in the rain is probably not the best idea. Well, I can do it, but it's just really unpleasant. So I thought I'd take this time to really explain what's going on back in this boot build. And obviously I was talking about possibly selling the car, but I'm just gonna use the car until it dies. So I'm gonna do as much work to it as I want to. And when it dies, it dies and I, and I just get rid of it. So the seats down there are gonna be removed. The um, sort of the the mounting point for the seat and the seat belt is going to remove. Those seat belts up there are going to move, and the same on the other side. Subwoofer is going to move out for the time being because obviously I need to beat the boot, build the boot build without. That's a word and a half. Build the boot build without that in the way to start with, and then work around it. But the carpet is going to stay in for now. Get rid of that and move this paint out of the way because that's annoying. And yeah, that's basically the plan. So hopefully if it stops raining, I can actually continue, I can actually start doing some work because all I've done is cleared out crap in it and it is so disgusting in the back of the car, so. Right, so to start with we're going to remove this part of the seat. Now there are these little flaps to sort of tuck in under the seat and there's little screws, if it focuses, little screws here. There's one on each side which you undo and then this sort of goes backwards and then pulls out. You have to get the seat belts out obviously but it's quite a simple thing to do, so let's try and do this one-handed, it's going to be difficult. There we go. Because if I lose a screw down there, I'm not going to be happy. Come on you. Come on. That's one side out, and then as you can probably tell, that moves pretty well. So do the same on that side, and then we'll pull it out. Oh my god, what is all this crap here? I don't think this car's ever been cleaned out since it's been owned. There's an old biro and a, and some next stuff and a train ticket. They went from they went from St. Leonard's to Bexhill, wherever that is, on Friday, February 2013, 7th. It's amazing what you find in old cars. And a price tag and some newspaper. This is exciting. I think though, that's it, and a leaf. That leaf, oh my god. And a free pen. So, quite happy. You can now see just how much space there is in the car. Look, I'll show you. I mean, look, with that back seat gone, it looks like there's so much space. Obviously, once this is removed, it'll make things a lot easier, but I would remove it. But obviously, if I take this power cable off here, I haven't got any electrical tape, so basically the power's going to be going through this. If it touches anything metal, it's going to spark. And I don't really want a fire to be started in my car. You know, just safety precautions and stuff. Right, so the final thing I'm going to do for today is I've done some archaeological digging and found some very odd stuff. Is I'm going to remove this part. I'm going to leave these parts for next time because I, next time I want to design what the boot is going to look like and how it's all going to work and stuff like that. So that's going to take a bit of time. So I've just got to undo this bolt here and yeah this bolt here and that bolt and then it all comes off yeah it's just two bolts so that shouldn't take too long so let's find the starry attachment thing and get it off right so now we're just going to get these parts off yes i am using a torque wrench because i cannot find for the life of me my socket set uh, yeah 
Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is put the camera down. I'm not sure who owned this car before me. I bought it off like some like 40 year old woman because that's who drives normal KAs. But I mean, look at the state of this. Eee, <laughs> it's disgusting. And now also we can see through the car. Look, we can see the floor. But obviously it's all right, I'm gonna fix those all up. They'll be, they'll be filled in once the boot build is done. But yeah, it's looking very nice. Well, it's not very clean, but you know what I mean. It's nice and empty now. So yeah, that was the boot build part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this bit. Now I've pretty much got the boot entirely empty now. So for next episode, I'm not sure when it's gonna be, because I know you guys really like watching the last one and you wanna see more of them. But the next one, I'm not sure what it's gonna be because I need to design a boot for it, which is gonna take a bit of time because I don't wanna rush that sort of thing because, you know, I'm gonna be spending a half decent amount of money on it, so I don't want it to look rushed. So next episode, I'm gonna be just designing the boot build and then the episode of that, after that, we're actually gonna start the proper boot build itself. So that should be good. So yeah, I'd like to thank all you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I am so close to 100 subscribers, it is unbelievable. I just, I can't thank you guys enough. So yeah, have a wonderful day guys. And I'll see you lot and my car next time. I prefer having real, doing real car stuff, quite simply because um, doing gaming videos, you're kind of stuck inside and okay, Most people, cars are a way of getting from point A to point B. However,